Melbourne's traffic is now so bad it's being compared to Los Angeles. The RACV has identified more than 150 transport projects which need to be upgraded and says without an urgent cash injection, our city will lose its title as the world's most livable. More from Jacqueline Felgate. It doesn't matter where you live. Melbourne's traffic is diabolical. And now the proof, it's getting worse. There is no solution in place. There's no funding in place. It's a disaster right now. Seven News can reveal the RECV's hit list of 159 transport projects it believes need to be fixed or our city will simply grind to a halt. The projects that RACV has identified amount to something over $7 billion and we're never going to meet that with the way we're currently funding them. There are the obvious, the need for an alternative to the Westgate Bridge and the plan to fix the end of the Eastern Freeway. But then there are the smaller roads in the suburbs that just can't cope with the thousands of people that use them every day. It's shocking. Oh, a lot of, lot of road rage, yeah, definitely. Um, especially after work. We have trouble getting out AM, PM and it's dangerous for kids crossing the road to go to the local private school. They include the notorious bottleneck at Point Cook Road, Dunnings Road and Palmer's Road in the west, Plenty Road in the north and Thompson's Road in the southeast. The RACV says commute times in Melbourne are now rivalling that of Sydney and Point Cook is a good example. Despite being just 25 kilometres from Melbourne, it can often take drivers more than two hours to get into the city. I think there are parts of Melbourne that are worse in terms of the traffic than Los Angeles. For the full list of the RACV's priority roads in your area, log on to our website. Jacqueline Felgate, 7 News.